Hi guys, what's up? I am Sonu and you are watching Mathematics Expert channel. In the previous video section, I have discussed the concept of function relation. It is all the basic entities that is required, requirable to the understanding of our state algebra. So, in this video series, I am going to start the lecture on abstract algebra. Abstract means it is nothing but it is the broad division of the mathematics in which we study algebraic structure. Algebraic structure means we will study about group, ring, field, lattices and many points. So, if you have not, not watched the basic point, that is you have not studied till basic or you have forgot the what is function relation, that is just a basic point. What is one one function, what is on to, what is the range set, what is codomain domain. If everything we have forgot, then go on my channel and see the first what is function relation and after that we will come to know what is the group. So I am leaving the history of the abstract algebra section. You will study from anywhere book or google. So I am discuss first of all I will discuss binary operation. Binary operation. This is the very fundamental point of learning stage of the abstract algebra. If you have not understand clearly binary operation then you will never understand the feeling of group theory binary operation binary operation you have might be a studies in class 12 so just see suppose you have two numbers suppose you have two numbers a and b this is both belongs to set of natural numbers n and if I ask you what will be a plus b then you say it is also a set of natural number that is what we are observing here here is the plus sign this is plus sign it is nothing but it is the operation it is the operation it is the operation and this type it is a plus sign which is operation that joins two natural numbers a and b of set n. The set of natural number gives after joining this gives a unique natural number that is a plus b which is unique in the set n. If we choose a b belongs to n and we add then we will give a plus b which is a unique element of this set n. That is what we are observing here if we define a function if such that n cross n to n here is not a bracket sign this is a wrong way if we define a function if n cross n to n so what is n cross n this is nothing but the Cartesian product in Cartesian product we know it is the collection of all ordered pairs possible so here a b belongs to this n cross n and output is the set of natural numbers it will give a entity of natural numbers that is belongs to n so we can write here the definition of function if defined from n cross n n cross n to n such that f of a b is equal to what a plus b that is if you are choosing any one ordered pair of n cross n that is the Cartesian product of two sets it will give you a plus b which is a unique element of the set n clear then the definition of mapping is satisfied and it is nothing but what we have mentioned above uh, here it is thus the addition of natural numbers n is a map from n cross n to n so we will call such maps binary composition or binary operation in general a mapping from in general we can say in general in general a mapping f from set a cross a to a is called is called a binary composition composition on set A that is 
binary composition we define on a set A. Clear? So, of course, have more than one binary composition on the same set. Clear? There is one set of uh, integers. There is a binary composition addition, but in the set of uh, rational numbers, there is a non-zero rational numbers. There is a binary composition addition. Also, there is a multiplication. So, there can be more than one binary composition on the same set. In fact, multiplication is the another binary composition on n. Yeah, we can say. Whereas, subtraction is not. So, we have to think why subtraction is not the binary composition on the set of natural numbers. I will discuss these points just after just learning some point basic points. Now, I am defining suppose if from set of a rational number on set of rational numbers such that if a b definition of function is nothing but a b by 2 definition of function is a, a b by 2 where q is nothing but set of rational number set of rational numbers clear so we sometimes express the above by saying it is a star this is f star a star b sometimes a star b is a binary composition defined on q that is same expression we can write in another form that is a star b is related to a b by 2 that is if we choose two elements a and b on the operation star as a binary composition it will give you a into b by 2 in fact this notation is generally more convenient to use a binary composition clear next point is a binary composition composition is said to be commutative is said to be commutative if commutative means it is nothing but a star b is equal to b star a that is commutative for all a this point we have to write all a b belongs to if on which set that is the binary relation defined on which set that is belongs to a also there is some point that is so all the these basic parts that is you might have studied in class 8 9 or 10 but sometimes many students forgot the previous what they have studied so that part i have discussed only for those who have forgot so just to revise if you have already know this part then skip the videos and see the next session so and also it is called it is called that is binary operation it is called means binary operation is called associative associative if what is the condition of associative a star b star c is equal to a star b then a star c for all a b c belongs to set a clear so binary present is said to be commutative if a star b is equal to b star a when the binary composition is said to be associative when a associate is uh, uh, operated as the binary composition on the b star c is equal to a star b and complete as with a star c so clear now come to the next point all these basic parts sorry so now come to the main, main concepts of this i am saying that why the subtraction is not as a binary composition on set of natural numbers i have I am going to discuss that section. Clear? Binary operation. What is the definition of binary operation? If we choose two numbers a, b, and we operate a star b, this is both belongs to a 
we will have to suppose this set A. Then the definition of binary operation is A star B must belong to where set A. Clear? This is the main part of binary composition, binary operation. So, if you choosing two elements from set A and we and you operating with a star as a binary operation, then this element must belong to A. This is nothing but the closure property. All guys you know already what is closure property. Closure property is nothing but if you choose two elements of the same set and operate, then output of this operation will belongs to the same set. So this property is said to be closure property. This is closure property. So A B that is A star B belongs to A. So suppose A B belongs to natural numbers. So A plus B also belongs to natural number. But why A minus B not belongs to natural number? See here. Suppose you, you take three A equal to three and B equal to five. Then a minus B for the subtraction to be a binary operation, it must must belongs to N. But what we are observing here for 3 and 5, 3 minus 5 is equal to 2 and this is not belong to N. So it is not satisfying the closure property. So due to violation of closure property, subtraction is not a binary operation on the set of natural numbers. Clear? So, for a binary operation on a set, it must be a closure that is complete in other way we say. So, the name is quite appropriate in as much as when two elements are joined through a composition, then the resulting element remains inside the set itself. This is the very, very important point. Clear? In other words, we also say the system remains closed under the operation. Closed means same, same operation, uh, same operation. That is, closed means if you choose A and B, then it must belongs to A star B belongs to A. That is, the system remains closed under operation. So, the concept of binary composition is most fundamental in the study of algebra, and in fact forms a pedestal for the systems that we shall come across later in our lecture. So, I have discussed what is binary operation in detailed manner. So guys, if you have not studied this earlier, then first see carefully what is binary operation. In binary operation, there is a most important point is it must be a closure. That is, it must be a complete and it is satisfy the closure property. It is so, I have discussed binary composition. Now, I am going to decide, uh, discuss the group. So, group. For this, we have wait for a time because I have discussed first binary composition. So, next topic is our topic of our discussion is group. So, for group, it should satisfy some properties. It is nothing but it is also an operation on set. So, clear? Now, first of all, we know what is the definition of group. So, first see the definition. First see the definition. Suppose we have a non-empty set G. Let A non-empty set G together with a binary composition together with a binary composition a star we did as a star clear is said to be is said to be what form group so to be form group if it satisfy if it satisfies some following properties satisfy the 
it satisfy the following properties i am going to write all this properties that is the first property is see carefully the group the set has together with a binary composition style it has a binary composition that is it notify that the operation whatever we output we will get it must belongs to set g that is it is closed under the binary composition star first thing is already done so first condition is associativity 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 just i have seen we have seen earlier in the in the same video it satisfy a star b a star c is equal to a star b that is a star c it is the condition of associativity for all this is the very important point a b c belongs to g a b c we have to write not just write this if we have missed this this exam then in subjective paper you will lose marks and the second condition is existence of what identity existence of identity that is there exist an element this is a symbol for there exist an element in the same set g suppose this element we i am naming e belongs to g such that such that a star e is equal to e star a is equal to a for all a belongs to g that is what i am giving condition there exist an element e in the set g such that there is a condition on e a star e is equal to e star a is equal to a for all a belongs to g that is for every element of g there always exist an element e which satisfy this condition so we say there exist an identity element that is e and we say e is the e is the identity element identity element clear and the third condition is third condition is existence of universe a inverse existence of inverse that is what is the condition of existence of inverse for every element of g for every element of g that is for a belong to g there exist always there exist this is a symbol for that exist there always always exist a dash belongs to g such that sometimes it may be depending on a we can write it depending on a such that there is a condition a star a dash is equal to a dash a dash a star a is equal to identity this is the condition for existence of inverse and a dash is called inverse of a clear so what we have studied here for a group see here for a group is non empty set g we have non empty set g together with the binary operation together with binary operation what together with binary operation a star is said to be a form group 
if it satisfy the following property or the first property is first property is associativity that is it must satisfy this condition clear that is a star with b star c is equal to a star b with c for all a b c belongs to g and the second condition is existence of identity that is there always exist an element e this is e in the set g such that a star a is equal to a star a is equal to a for all a belongs to g and e is called the identity element now the third condition is existence of universe for every element of g it is a belongs to g we are choosing a is our battery that is for all element of g there always exist an element a as belongs same in the same set g which is sometimes depending on a such that a star a as is equal to a star a as a star a is e is equal to e that is this is the condition of existence of universe and we say this a as a as is called inverse of a this is the definition of our group we will know more about the group with example so we will more clear to seeing the many examples so i am going to discuss some remarks point after that we will see many examples which will more clarify than seeing this examples so first of all some note the remarks point which i am going to take in the further lectures suppose the first point is since what we have seen here since i have written a star is a binary composition a star is a binary composition a star is a binary composition on set g it means that it is understood that for all a b belongs to g it is all thing i have discussed but for you have to remember i am writing again it is understood it is understood that for all a b belongs to g a star b is nothing but is the unique element unique element or member of g clear this property is called what closure property this property is called closure property this property is called closure property and the second point is for all a a and b belongs to g a star b is equal to b star a for all a b belongs to g this condition is what commutative property all things i have discussed in the binary operation section but for more clearance for revising point of view i am writing again generally the next point is generally suppose generally i have written we will write generally generally the binary composition for a group is denoted by the binary composition for a group is denoted by point dot which is so convenient to write as the star so we not write generally star or any symbols that is it is a more convenient to write dot so this binary composition dot is called product of multiplication if nothing is mentioned 
the group operation in the problem then you have to take that is the binary operation is no, simply multiplication usual multiplication that is we are so familiar with it in fact we even draw the dot, dot sign and simply write a b in place of a b in place of a dot b so this is the more convenient part to write than this in future whenever i say that g is a group it will be understood that there exists a binary composition dot on g and it satisfy all the axioms in the definition of group clear whenever i say the there is a group g then it is understood that this is satisfy all these three conditions uh, we have, there is one more very important point sometimes students are still confused about this many books give the definition of group it satisfy the four condition but i have written here it satisfy only three condition associativity existence of identity and existence of universe but the third condition uh, the fourth condition there is some book in which they have written it it is it satisfy the closure property but no need to write the closure property why because i have already defined the binary composition it must be closure that is closed so and we know the group with a, a, with the definition of group we we have written here g together with a binary composition it all we will understood that it has a closure property because g set has already a binary composition that is it mean that it consist of a what the closure property so no need to write the extra condition in the definition of group that is it satisfy the closure property if you are saying a group g with a binary operation a star then it be it, it is understood that it has a closure property so don't confused about this types of stuffs because many book i have seen i was also confused in the earlier part section when i started learning the abstract algebra so don't confused about this types of term clear now come to the section example first example i am going to discuss suppose g is equal to set set of integers set of integers and the binary of composition i am giving addition let's check all these conditions suppose first condition is associativity associativity that is we have to pick three elements a b c belongs to z the check a star b star c is equal to a star b a star c this is the condition for associativity let's check a b c belongs to z it is here a star is nothing but the operation addition so a a star b a star c we can write a plus b plus c and similarly we can in addition this bracket shift with a that is a plus b plus c we can write and it is nothing but what a star b star c that is here a star is the plus sign we have to write plus generally no need to write a star because already given plus is the binary operation so it is satisfying the first condition associativity now what is the second condition there exists an element e such that such that e such that e star a is equal to a star e is equal to a so on addition just think what is that element if we pick 0 which is belongs to z integers and add suppose we i am taking e equal to 0 which belongs to z so for any a belongs to z a plus 0 is what 0 plus a it is nothing but a it is satisfying the condition for existence of identity element that is 0 is the identity element
zero is the identity element. Now the third condition, third condition was for existence of universe, uh, inverse. Suppose for every a belongs to Z, what is the condition? There always exists a dash belongs to Z such that a star a dash belongs to E. And see what is E for our Z? Zero. This is nothing but the E. That is the identity element of the set G, group G. So what we pick ele element A dash for an element A, it make them identity that is zero for in for in the set of integers. So for every elements A, what we add A dash, it make it zero. It is simply for every A dash, there is a minus in. So minus a is the inverse of inverse of what z with binary operation star so we are saying that all these conditions is fulfilling with the set of integer with binary composition a star that is addition as a binary composition so what we will say z will form with binary operation addition will form a form a group clear see the next example suppose uh, we have discussed this set of integers suppose we have set of rational number set of rational number with binary operation addition same it will satisfy just let's check a plus b plus c that is the rational rational addition it is nothing but a plus b plus c and we can shift this plus c so it is satisfying associativity similarly the second condition existence of identity in addition you know what is the element that we operate on uh, element a it will make a make demand same so it is nothing but the zero and existence of inverse it is nothing but for every element a there is a minus a in the set of q which may get zero so q is also forming a group simply this is a rational number but come to the irrational numbers irrational number With binary composition multiplication clear whether it will form group or not just check if it is a fails to satisfy any out of three condition then it will never form a group so guys be careful about this point if it is not satisfying any of the listed above, above listed three property then definitely it will never form a group so suppose for forming a group it must satisfy first of all the closure property you have to check because it is not mentioned in the definition of group so you have to check the condition for closure so suppose we are taking a b belongs to irrational number suppose i am writing this group group uh, group not the set name is g belongs to g so a multiplication b must belongs to g but there are many numbers suppose i am writing root 3 and 1 by root 3 both are irrational number both are belongs to g but root 3 into 1 by root 3 is equal to 1 which not belongs to g that is set of irrational numbers so this is the natural number that is rational number but not belonging in the set of irrational number that is it is not satisfying the closure property so if it is not satisfying the closure property then it has no not the binary operation as a multiplication then it will not form a group because we know that for a forming a group it must have a binary composition but it is not satisfying the condition for a binary operation that is it must be uh, closure but it is not satisfying the closure body so it is set up irrational number under the multiplication it will not form a group similarly under addition it will also not form a group because if you take root 3 and minus root 3 both are irrational number but on addition root 3 plus root 3 
minus root 3 it will become 0 which, which not belong to set g that is g is the nothing but the I have taken set of irrational number so irrational number is not forming a group under the addition or multiplication so see the next example for this suppose I am writing the next example here set of all two cross two matrices over integer under matrix addition that is set of two cross two matrices in the short form write m is equal to a b c d with binary operation addition and a b such that b c d belongs to set of integers so let's check whether it is forming a group or not first check associativity and for associativity we choose three matrices plus second matrices plus third matrices if we first add this and after you add this it is a similar thing first we add the, the two matrices and plus add the last matrices first add this and after that this this is the same same operation same thing so it is satisfying associativity for existence of identity and we know what will be the identity here identity is nothing but the null matrix if we add 0 0 in any matrix that is 0 0 in a b c d what it will give it will give you same matrix a b c d it will not affect anything this is nothing but a b c d plus 0 0 So here is the identity element. Identity element. And for existence of universe, there should be a such type of matrices which make them null matrix on addition. So just think on addition for A, B, C, D, which type of matrices here so that the result should be null matrices that is identity if we a and for make it null matrix it must be a minus a for b there is minus b for c minus c and for d minus d if we add them then this make a null matrix that is this is the inverse of this matrix inverse of this matrices m this is suppose m so what we have seen here this is the concept of group so i am leaving with example let's let's check that is we have to check and send me the answer in the comment section that is only whether it is forming group or not i am leaving with question set of all non-zero complex number set of all set of all non zero complex number complex numbers under the binary operation is multiplication binary operation multiplication multiplication which is defined by suppose it's the set of a plus ib such that ab belongs to real non-zero real numbers it represents r star it is a non-zero real numbers because we have taken set of all complex number and so and binary operation is what multiplication 
so guys check just whether it is forming group or not if it is forming group then what will be the identity element what will be the inverse and post the answer in the comment section or you can send it in the my whatsapp number it is always open to you guys don't hesitate to send any queries related to mathematics because i am always used to help the mathematics guys as well as physicist so that is physics students uh, up to the undergraduate level so guys don't confuse by saying that any answer to the my comment section or my in whatsapp so thanks for being with me i am stopping here